Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel Techadu again and in this video we are going to push this Apple M1 Mac to the max. So can this Mac, can this base version M1 Mac handle um, 8K Red Raw and 12K B Raw footage or not? That would be the whole video. Let's quickly jump in and check this out. Um, I had selected John Broly's Word WordPress. So this is this guy so thank you john uh, please i hope you do not mind that i'm going to use few of your samples to show the demo to a lot of people those who are very curious about this macbook pro so that's his gear he's using uh, the 12k uh, black magic design camera which is a beast this is a total beast folks so um, i downloaded all the samples already and uh, i did go to red raw 8k sample download I did search exactly like this and uh, we went to reds uh, this one and we used a uh, red monstro 8k uh, with red code tennis 2 1 and DMC 2 standard OLPF well um to know that whether these footages are 12k or 8k so at first these are the two raw footages so let's go ahead and check get info and uh, so in this is going to be at 12k so you can see crop size is 12k by 6k 12 by 6 which is 12k more or less um white balance is 10 oh no white balance is 5600 tint is 10 sensor rate is 24 frames per second iso is 800 shutter value is 180 aperture 2 point uh, aperture 4.8 and he was using a carl zeiss lens you will notice that this is a 12k uh, 12.8 by 6480 which means that it is a 12k uh, 12k uh, video so, so let's open up DaVinci Resolve I'm using the 17 beta right now let's check out this timeline so we'll go to project settings as you can see my timeline resolution is 4k so basically it's going to down sample the 12k to 4k now I would keep it right now as of for that and actually you know what no let's go ahead and try to do 8k render so let's render out 8K. So let's take all this footage into my timeline. Let's play and see what happens. So it's reading at eight frames per second. Now it's going to 32, but what happens when I'm doing scrubbing? Ah, uh, scrubbing is also stuttering. So yeah, I would not keep the timeline to be timeline to be a you know like 8k let's drop down the timeline from 8k ultra hd to okay let's do that okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to change we are going to drop the second one also because the second one is amazing also uh, i mean this guy probably lives in a wonderland look at his house and everything look at the place that he has shot again i see definitely a problem in scrubbing um when i play this it's it's playing at 24 frames that's crazy okay so when you downscale 12k to 4k it does play in 24 frames per second as instructed so that's pretty awesome that's very eye-opening hold on huh that is pretty eye-opening that I can actually huh huh very interesting um, we are going to come to the red footage later on. At first, let's go ahead and see whether we can play around with colors. A little bit like this, and then we can take a lot and see what's happening. I mean, let's keep it like this as of right now, but yeah, you know what, let's, let's add a lot. let's see whether it can i usually do h265 so let's render this and see how much time it's taking it's, it's going to take a lot of time eight second footage uh, 
with LUTs and everything, it's taking a lot of time, but it's still doing it. That is, that is pretty, pretty awesome. Well, um, everything is done. Now let's go ahead and check this out really quick. So this is the final output. Wow, I don't believe that uh, a 12K footage got edited. Huh, interesting. Very interesting. Let's go out here, change the project settings to uh, 8K. Let's save this now. Because from half resolution, we went to full resolution. Now we're going to go out here. Now we're going to re add it to the render queue as test two. Okay, add to render queue. So it was 8K, my timeline resolution was 8K and I'm rendering in 8K and let's render. Very interesting folks that you will see that the time is increasing. It's 15%, uh, it's either the program has crashed because it has not moved from 15%. So probably the program has crashed. Let's go ahead and check activity monitor. We are in activity monitor. My CPU is at 3.26%. That's good. My memory is 7 gigs. And this is rendering 8K. Uh, I think the program has crashed already because it never takes so much of time. Alrighty folks, um, after giving it 16 minutes, as you can see that I'm pretty sure the program is not working anymore. So it's cannot, it cannot output 8K anymore. So we will just stop this job because um, we understood that it is facing problems um, in rendering in 8K. Uh, Red Raw 8K. So let's create this project. Uh, Red Raw 8K, our, our only footage was uh, from Red. So we are going to open this. Uh, don't change, let the frame rate remain the same. Okay, let's go to project settings and uh, we are not going to do the 8K at first, so let's go ahead and do the 4K at first. So our project timeline is at 4K. So we are going to take this, drop it to our timeline, media pool, and let's see what happens out here, folks. This is a five second clip. You will see that now it's outputting sometimes at eight frames. So yeah, definitely, with 8K, you're going to face problems. As you can see, I'm scrubbing right now. Mm, the frames are holding a little bit up. So when I'm scrubbing, uh, let's check that out again. Yeah, I definitely see with red footage, there will be some sort of problems. Now, let's go ahead and grade this. I'm going to render this in 4K resolution. So we'll add this to render queue. So five second clip should not take more than a few seconds or so. Alrighty, so the job is completed. We can actually go back to desktop two and check this out. It's a five second clip. Looks decent. Okay, I can live with that. Alright, folks. So, well, we learned from this video that um, you would not be able to edit 8K and 12K footage. For some reason, the Blackmagic B-RAW footage, uh, which is 12K, you can convert that into 4K and you can output into a 4K format. As of right now, you can notice that red red raw footage is kind of not readable on your m1 mac well um that was it folks that was all from the channel tech do again and hope you guys enjoyed this episode it was an honest presentation hope you guys enjoyed this presentation see you folks on another episode till then goodbye have a nice night ahead and uh, if you're watching this in 2021 this is shot in 2020 you do have a happy new year ahead so take care